people get violent. I have had death threats. I have had you better watch your back threats. I've had we'll see how this works out threats. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I was just thinking yesterday, isn't it about time for a high profile shooting to take place? Like if you think about and study this stuff, you see that it, it happens every so often. I say it's been a while for a real high profile shooting to take place. You know, the kind where the media's all over there, the politicians are dancing in the blood before it's even dry about why they need gun control and how they're going to save us from ourselves. You know, that type of shooting. And then I log on to Fox News today and saw that there's an event taking place right now in Pittsburgh where some guy shooting, they're claiming over 100 rounds, shooting police drones out of the sky. Some deranged individual is upset and he, he's firing his gun. They're not talking about any death count or any injured count at this point. It's an ongoing situation. By the time you watch this video, it will probably be resolved, but at this point, it's a barricaded get people out safely we have to deal with this clown because he is armed and using his arms against law enforcement or anybody else who comes in his way this is the type of person that people blame or the gun they blame but this is the type of person they categorize the rest of us as okay it's easy to blame the gun this person is psychotic and so I know a lot about the reason why he is shooting up the area because he is getting evicted. Law enforcement went there to hand him an eviction and say, you're out of here. Okay, this already went in front of a judge. You're gone. Get out. And his response was to take his guns and start shooting all over the place. Once again, it's a developing story. Why do I know a lot about this? I've been a landlord for 25 years. I once owned seven single family homes and at no point was everything just going so great at each and every one of them. Typically somebody's late on rent, typically a situation's occurring, typically there's a repair that is the most important thing in their lives or they're moving in their buddies or they have a whole bunch of dogs or animals that they didn't state they're they're cheating on the rent they, they need just one more week to make that payment i need one more week you need to be compassionate as the landlord you need to solve my problems you need to make my problems go away because i'm just a guy trying to make it in this world and i tell you what i have been in this situation more times than i care to remember i have been in court most likely more than anybody watching this video unless you yourself is a landlord or you are a lawyer okay i have been in court on multiple occasions sometimes as a defendant some tenant leaves a a couch and a stove on the front porch and then i get cited for blight that's how it works in my local area i didn't even know what was going on here i am in court as a defendant but most of the time it's because i'm the plaintiff i'm filing for eviction this costs money it costs time it, 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 it's a big distraction but it happens all the time in the rental business and people get violent i have had death threats i have had you better watch your back threats i've had we'll see how this works out threats i've had all types of things happen i've had people all their belongings on the front lawn by law enforcement this costs money to get to the point where you did everything, you went to court, you reach a place where there's nothing more you can do. Now it's up to law enforcement to go there after a judge rules eviction in the favor of the plaintiff, you're out, okay? Typically they say you have three days. After that, they will force the individual out as well as their belongings. I've had this happen several times. When somebody rents a house, that is their livelihood. That is where that's where they stay that, that I stay here that's where they they stay to interrupt that to not make their problem go away is a disaster in their life their self-induced problem where they either destroyed the house didn't pay rent or both moved their buddies in had late night parties driving the neighbors crazy or the neighbors are psycho I've had doors kicked in I've had stuff stolen constantly I've had to go and make repairs for things that had nothing to do with my tenants or me, 
but the neighbors were pretty violent. And you say, well, you must have rented in bad areas. No, that's not true. Violence and, and break-ins and crime is everywhere. Get that out of your head. Stop saying, I don't live in a bad area, so I don't need a gun, or I only carry my gun when I'm going to a bad area. You need to get rid of that mentality because crime can happen anywhere. And I've experienced it a lot in the rental business. And I've experienced, well, you, you, know, you need to give me more time, or you need to do this, you need to do that. Meanwhile, they did everything wrong. It's a place in society that is being reflected upon this idiot in Pittsburgh that's shooting a bunch of people. Now, they don't have uh, a number about how many people have been injured or even killed at this point. So far, it seems like it's just an ongoing situation and people in the area are freaking out, rightfully so. But this guy did everything wrong. Why am I talking about this? This guy who did everything wrong and continues to do everything wrong is the person that they aligned me and you with, gun owners. They blame the gun. They're going, they're going to blame the gun. If somebody dies in this incident, once again, it's ongoing. You may know by now, This is by the time this is aired, but the politicians, the media will be like, we need to do something. We need to keep them safe. They will keep nobody safe. If these politicians got everything they wanted, they would keep nobody safe because nobody can come up with a way to get some deranged maniac like this uh, a way to get the, the guns from them. Oh, we could do red flag orders. Nope, that's not even going to touch the problem. Is it going to help? I know some people who were innocent. I don't know personally, but it was reported that the people that were innocent got killed and injured with restraining orders and, and confiscation orders with their guns. So this is what's happening. I expect it to be all over the news and, and talk about how we need gun control because of this psychotic idiot who did everything wrong. I can already read through the story. Did everything wrong to create this lunacy and now his response is to go shoot a bunch of people. That's the type of person they compare us with. It's just how it is. And this is why we fight day in and day out for our constitutional right. I had seven homes. Hated the business, couldn't stand it. I now have one for this very reason. Plus, I'm just sick of dealing with people and telling them how they have to live their lives when they aren't going to change no matter what. There's, you know, had a lot that I loved, had a lot that I couldn't stand, and I had a lot who couldn't stand me just for doing my job as a landlord. It's reflected in this society. I've never been shot at, but I've gotten a ton of threats. I know the mentality of this type of idiot, and it's pretty bad. And if you're thinking about being a landlord, you may want to get in touch with somebody who's been doing it a while to get the true story of how that business actually works. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.